John, no one's saying you haven't done a great job in Florida. I've been to Florida. I had a good time in Florida. My stand-up comedy audience love you in Florida. No one's saying that, except perhaps when it comes to devolving the power for uh, schools uh, and allowing them and, and allowing their parents to participate in which books should be permitted when it comes to ideology and which books should be banned. Now, I, I agree with decentralization, and I fundamentally believe that true freedom is the other people's freedom and i wonder like in the just to use this rather localized uh, example if you were to grant similar freedoms in california you can imagine that the types of books that might get banned wouldn't be books that promote certain sexualities and certain lifestyles they might be more traditional and orthodox books would you be happy with that and would you permit that if schools for example in california said we want to ban the bible or we don't want to talk about christianity or we don't want to talk about heterosexual families or we want further gun coal legislation you'd be down for all that well they've done that for years i mean i don't think in california they would allow a bible i think it should be allowed of course but i but i don't think that they do do that in florida what, what we've really done though is is we have devolved uh, power to the parents because ultimately school systems don't exist uh just for their own sake they exist to serve the community and so we think it's appropriate that the education reflects community standards. So when you have some of the stuff, which has been very graphic and pornographic in a fourth grade or fifth grade classroom, it's not a question of banning it because you as an adult are free to do that in Florida. We're not getting rid of it. It's not like Amazon where they won't put books on that talk about negatively talk about like gender ideology in Florida. Everything's available for adults, but there's a time and a place to have something that graphic. We don't want to be treating kids like adults. Uh, we want to be treating kids like kids. And so injecting some of these concepts in first or second grade uh, is just not appropriate. So we're just giving parents the ability to know what's being taught in schools. Uh, and then if something violates the standards that Florida set, they can do it. For example, take it away from the, the sexualization. We have Holocaust education in Florida. If a teacher teaches that the Holocaust didn't happen, we obviously, the parents would blow the whistle and, and there would be issues. So we have a right to set what standards we want to be taught. We can pick what subjects that we want to be taught um, and do it in that direction. But nothing is being banned. You guys can knock yourself out um, on any of that stuff. Just don't put it in a fourth grade classroom uh, where it's not appropriate.